Hello all you magnificent people, Durbo the Magnificent here, and today we're back with the seventh episode of the Shadows of Abaddon playthrough. In this episode, things have already started to happen. Uh, so yeah, you saw the builds, I, I, I did the build, it's a thing, uh, and I tried out a new thing, uh, I, I installed Heroes mod, which allows you to lock the camera in place, uh, just to try things out, and I feel like that went alright. Let me know if you like that version of building better. I don't actually know how it looks in time lapse because, you know, I haven't done that part yet, but I feel like it'll probably look pretty nice. Uh, this is the thing. Uh, yeah, not perfectly happy with it, but it was mainly just to test out the new camera, and I tried it out and it was cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, did a couple of things off screen, off camera. Uh, first off, Skeletron Prime showed up, and I decided not to turn it down and just gave it a go, and it went really well. Yep super well uh and then he showed up again and it went a little bit better
so Skeletron Prime's dead, and I have like uh, some some nice hallowed stuff because of that. Uh, so that's that's pretty tight. Uh, also, I got the Sky Fracture, as you probably noticed. So that's made with a couple of shards and souls of light and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't. Oh uh, yeah, I got a magic dagger as well. It's okay. It's not actually as good as I was hoping it would be, but yeah, that's fine. And then the other thing is that I fought Araneus, the Spider Queen person. Yeah. So uh, here's an, a very edited down version of the fight. Okay, cool. So you're back. Um, so that boss isn't okay um, at all. Its health needs to be nerfed, uh, and I don't feel like this is me just whining and being bad at the game. Uh, it literally has more health than the, the destroyer, and he, the reason 
like, the Destroyer held the record for most health in the game for a while. I'm pretty sure he even beat the Moon Lord. Um, but the reason he's got so much health is because he's got multiple segments that you can hit. So it's actually not that bad. That's just single target, though. So, unedited, it's an 11 minute fight. That's not okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I beat it. Aranaeus is dead. And I got this, the Venomite Staff. It shoots some projectiles. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Yeah, it. That that's all it does. It's okay. The damage is really low because it, it it's a guaranteed debuff, which means it has to have low damage for some reason. I'm honestly not clear on why, but whatever. Aranaeus also drops a Mage Staff, but it's doesn't seem very good from what I've seen, and the fight is literal just suffering. It's just the least fun boss fight I've ever done. Uh, actually, there's probably worse out there, but, like, it's a, it's a decent boss. It's just too tanky. It's just way, way the hell too tanky, and from what I've heard, uh, the other bosses are probably just as tanky, if not more tanky. I don't know. I'm not looking forward to it if they're all going to be that tanky, but we'll see. Uh, we need to kill the other mech bosses. Is there anything cool we can make out of hallowed bars? Because I actually got a few now that I killed Skeletron. Uh, let's let's find out. There might be some cool some cool shiz. Uh, yeah, there's a throwing thing, and that's it. Chroma Ultima. That sounds kind of cool. Queen's Rose. It's post-mech, so I probably shouldn't do that. That's a thing. The Retinal Meltdown. I did go back and kill the Wall of Flesh to get the Laser Rifle, so we do have that. So, Twins would ideally be the best thing to fight next. Uh, I guess I could just start making some Hallowed Armor, honestly. There's a horrific, horrific Assault. That, that sounds cool. Uh, but I'm not a Ranger. So, I guess we're gonna have to pass on that one, dog. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, I guess let's just make some armor. Do, 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 do. We can make some pants. Pants made. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. Well, I guess we'll probably, like, fight the twins tonight or something. We could probably fight them. They're not too bad. Stick a chair in the bathroom. Because where else are you going to stick a chair? Uh, I want there to be one right here as well. Yes. Uh, now that's viable, and the wizard will definitely be the one to move in. Oh, yes, the wizard! Pure luck. Oh my gosh, that's so great. Thank you so much, wizard. Now I don't need any of these potions. Wow, half a gold is what I get for that. Uh, let's just buy a cram ton of these, because they're way the hell better. Uh, yeah, let's make it nighttime. Let's get some buffs going. Fight a, some eye. <laughs>
That's the twins down. We got some souls of sight. We can get some cool stuff now. So now we can make a thing. Some sort of a laser gun, I think, I suspect. Yeah, the retinal meltdown. Fires a high velocity f cursed flame laser. That sounds pretty cool, to be perfectly freaking honest. We'll give it a go. Uh, mythical. It was meant to be. Here we go, pals, lads. It just shoots. So that's a massive upgrade. It seems. That's pretty good. I'm glad we got a weapon that's actually good now. That's nice. Oh yeah, I wanted to explain the super embarrassing Skeletron death and I totally forgot. So this thing, uh, I discovered an interesting quirk to it that the wiki just doesn't mention. Uh, and that is the lower the health you have, the more damage it does. So what I was trying to do in the embarrassing Skeletron death is hurt myself enough to where this would just do mondo damage and then I would just be able to kill him faster. Uh, and I failed, as you saw. So now you know, that's, that's, that's what happens. And now we have to fight the destroyer. How much piercing does this have? I want to know. At least two. This seems like it'll probably be really good against the destroyer. It's got piercing fairly high damage. We're not playing Calamity, so... Automatic plus to piercing weapons there. Uh, I don't really want to do it above my house, because then he'll... Because he goes underground. <laughs> my house is underground. That's That just sounds like a bad idea. Frick it, let's go for the destroyer. Why the heck not, guys? Try and hang on this side of the world while we fight him. Yeah. That's the mech's down. Uh, this gun is a little bit annoying to use, but really, really good. Uh, also, I kind of forgot how <laughs> non-threatening a lot of these enemies are, or a lot of these bosses are, without revengeance mode and things like that. Wow! Alright, well, cool. We're now well on our way to fighting a Harpy Queen. Also, Soul of Might, anything cool we can do with that? Probably, maybe not. That's looking like a hard no. Can't get the royal treads if we 
get frost spark boots and the lava waders i forgot that we we need those which is unfortunate uh those also don't count as wings so that's pretty cool uh all right well now we can get the the drax and things and kill the harpy queen let's go ahead and make the hallowed helmet just because may as well get the full hallowed set it is a big upgrade oh yeah that's big oh that's big that's a good upgrade so great we're going in lads hopefully it won't take more than one attempt uh, but on the other hand I hope it does so we can use multiple musics but yeah we'll see
that's Rainier. So tanky. Pretty cool fight, all in all. Um, really, 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 really tanky, though. <laughs> I just... Uh, okay, well, we got a thing. Oh, is it like a shield we can... Oh, okay. Just puts a ring of feathers around us. That's kind of cool. That's that's interesting. And of course, the royal harpy feathers, with which we can do some cool things. Royal harpy tome. That's the thing. Uh, and everything else is non what we want. So cool. If I remember correctly, it's literally just the royal harpy tome, but more damage. Uh, we'll see. Here we go. That's exactly what it is. It's the royal harpy tome, but with more damage. Around about a thousand DPS, pretty good. Uh, by 500. Okay, so it's way better DPS wise. That's good. Next up is Plantera. <laughs> so, chlorophyte mining and stuff like that. That's that's neat. We're we're making some hella progress in this video. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna fit all the bosses in the thumbnail, but. You, you're looking at the thumbnail right the heck now, probably, so... Well, actually, you know, you're, you're, wa you're watching the, the video, so... Let's let's head into the jungle, get some spelunks going, you know? It'd also be nice to find an anklet of the wind while we're down here. Oh! Hanklet... <laughs> the hanklet of the wind! Because <laughs> it's hasty. <laughs> we got the hanklet of the wind, alright. Staff of regrowth, actually, would be really nice. Hey! Hey, look at that! Increase alchemy plant collection when used to gather. Super useful when you actually have to make your own potions. Oh, I have six health. Um, I don't even think I can touch a thorn, honestly. <gasps> no! Fair enough. God, it's scary in that direction. <laughs> Piss off, Archer. I have lasers, old man. The future is now! Sorry, I just didn't see that mimic that scared the hell out of me. Hey, cross necklace, cool. I don't really think we need it, but I'll take it. What we got in here? Uh, another canklet. It's a wanklet. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not okay. Moth down. Butterfly dust from a moth? Uh, okay. No! A bee. A bee. A god... Blessed be! Alright, well. Got a couple canklets and wanklets and janklets and. Yeah, get out of here. A little bit more chlorophyte. But not a lot. Not enough. Uh, I think exactly enough. Oh, no, it's actually six more than we need. But whatever, we got chlorophyte armor now. Huzzah! We no longer need chlorophyte. Although, we should probably check what's made with it. Um, and we will need a lot more if we're going to get the specter armor. Uh, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, there's Raiden and stuff like that. There's lizard bars. What are those made into? Uh... Oh, really? We need it to make the... Great. All right, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. We got a hell of a lot taken care of. We went straight up there, killed Irenaeus, the twins, the destroyer, Skeletron Prime, Rainier, and Plantera is going to be an ordeal, as she usually is. And then it'll be a short fight, and then all that ordeal will have gone towards just the shortest fight in existence as usual. Uh, and then we'll spend about 14 years trying to find the temple, uh, kill Gollum with no problem whatsoever, uh, and then spend ages trying to get the stuff for Primordia, and then probably fight Primordia a million times and end up never killing it because of how tanky it's inevitably going to be, uh, whatever it is. And then everything will be cushy. Uh, but until then, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. Die, bird. Whoa. That's what I thought. Anyway, that is going to go ahead and do it for the seventh episode of the Shadows of... Anyway, that is going to go ahead and do it for the seventh episode of the Shadows of Abaddon playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a magnificent day. Derpo the Magnificent out.